that all designers live for. It's the moment we love because it's the day that we get to bring our clients in to see how all the elements have come together to create their dream home. This is the reveal. I'm Julie Couch. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee, in front of a home I helped design. It was actually the second home we worked on together. Their first home is a rustic, masculine farmhouse. So for this home, we decided to do something very feminine, very girly, and all things pastel. As you enter into the living room, you immediately notice that there is a giant rug. It actually expands the full length dining area and living area. And you also see these big comfy sofas. Kind of unusual to use something such a large scale in a small space, but we had a limited footprint and we wanted to just maximize how comfortable and cozy the room was, but we didn't want it to get too heavy. So we did a very, very light color. It's performance fabric because they have a new grandbaby. We also chose these really interesting tables. So I didn't want anything that felt heavy, but I did want it to feel like it had some warmth. So I wanted some wood tones. I had this crazy fun coffee table made. I thought it would be a little bit edgy, a little bit unexpected. And then this more simple one made as well because it was gonna have this wild whimsical lamp on it. And the lamp is so fun. It's matte white, but has these dots on it. Super unexpected. Behind me, you can see a fabulous painting that my client found because we were looking for something, all the pastels, but a little bit more modern since they hadn't had that before. So we found this, we framed it in a very light driftwood color. So again, it doesn't get heavy. All the walls are white. We've got very simple wood beams up here that also add to the warmth. And then these fantastic chairs, they are blush ruched velvet. So what could be more girly and more beautiful? As you enter the dining space, you can see it's the same chandelier that we used in the living space, so they are totally cohesive. You really get the same feel in this room. I found some great armchairs. They had this fabulous shape, but we wanted dining chairs that were really comfy and you could linger around the table. And so we had them made in a dining room scale. Lots of extra seating, but unique and different. And then of course, this giant table. This table is actually seven feet across. So tons of room for friends and family to visit. We had this one made because I couldn't find anything that was exactly right. I wanted a white lacquer and I wanted a center base. So all the chairs could tuck in and nobody gets the seat with the weird leg in front of them. You can see behind me there is storage, not just your typical built-in cabinet, which is what I did not want, but again, we were able to introduce a little bit of femininity with this beautiful linen and just the brass hardware, which marries to the sconces that we added here, which have a very vintage feel. They're very fun and of course, beautiful art that is throughout. We really tried to mix all types of art from sketches to paintings to drawings, and it really makes it feel like a collection and it's curated.
coming into the kitchen, you can see there's lots of texture. I think in a small space, you really have to be intentional about adding some elements that are unusual so you have some wow moments. Even though it's small, the countertop on the island is a little bit different. So this is a white quartz, this is kind of a textured quartz, and it has that great kind of earthy tone, and it really adds a lot of warmth, as do these woven pendants. I think these are so fun. And I think, again, they give it that very like casual cottage feel, not too fussy, not too formal. I think it's a great mix for this home. shelves, the hood, you can see those are the same finish as the beams in the family room. So again, marrying all those textures. This texture of the backsplash, it's a beautiful, simple brick design, but it has a rough face, it's got a beautiful glaze, and has just a little age since it is an older home. Ultimately, we wanted it to have a lot of charm, a lot of texture. This is a great way to add some age too. These are unlacquered brass fixtures. So both the pot filler and the faucet are both unlacquered brass. So they start to age beautifully because they don't have a coating on them and it kind of feels like an old kitchen and it's very inviting. These pulls are massive. They are very oversized intentionally because we did want that kind of modern edgy vibe. We didn't want something sweet and dainty. We thought this would be a good mix with the woven and the other feminine elements. We brought in cafe curtains, again, in this ivory linen with a brass hardware. Very cohesive with the rest of the home, but also very feminine and very soft. secret if you have a collection that you love but there's small things medium things and you're not sure where in the world in your house you're gonna put these things a way to make that very impactful is to take all your pieces and put them somewhere in one space so you get this really beautiful collection specifically here we didn't have much space but we wanted to really echo the femininity and the fun of this house so we chose all these vintage pieces, we started the collection, and now it's just become a really fun treasure hunt for my client and I, and it's a great way to add personality to your space. primary bedroom, which is one of my favorite spaces in the entire house, we really set the tone for a feminine boutique feel, a boutique hotel feel with all white crisp bedding, which keeps the room light. It's not a large space, so we didn't want anything heavy in the middle of the room, but we want enough of a statement that it kind of grounded the room. Above it, we did this gorgeous antique mirror and it's hanging so it almost looks like it's floating, which I love. These blush linen drapes were already here. So that was kind of our perfect jumping off point for this color palette. We have echoed the color palette in these beautiful watercolor pieces by Amanda Norman. She's a local artist and I love the variation of color. It really gives you the perfect opportunity to pull in different tones. lamps are very luxurious. They are actually alabaster, so they have this sleek, modern feel, but the material is very layered and textural, and you just get great depth. They're sitting on these side tables, which are super fun. I had these made because I wanted, obviously, a very small scale. I kept them white and bright so it didn't feel crowded in the room, and then added this super fun, whimsical hardware that's also a little feminine, a little retro, and I thought that could be a great accent to really pull in more of the brass tones. The brass we have also on the chandelier, and this chandelier feels so vintage and fun to me. I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, I liked this, it was new, but I thought it was the perfect scale, the perfect size, 
And I feel like the glass pieces almost feel like feathers. So I just think it gives this little bit of like whimsy and fun and again, very feminine. Opposite the bed in the primary space, this cabinet. We needed storage and I will tell you, I don't think I've ever used burgundy before. This was new, but I wanted something really unique and really interesting, but still in the same color family is the blushy pinks and the mauves. So I had this piece made. It's a little more narrow than a standard piece of furniture, but we did need the storage. And then I also had this really narrow bench made, and it's actually made in a synthetic. It's a vinyl, has a little bit of a texture. And so it was kind of a good way to have a little bit of traffic pattern. They could still get through, but they had every need met. So they had some seating, they had some storage, they had this crazy burgundy color that I love. And then I chose this really kind of deck Echo hardware, again, kind of giving it a vintage feel, even though it is sleek and new. It had a little bit of a pop of brass in these deco pulls. And then the homeowner actually found this photograph that she loved, and it kind of made me giggle because I think it's so whimsical and so funny. And it was just kind of a nice accent to again bring in the personality of this house and how much fun we want it to be. primary bathroom, it's just off the bedroom, and even though it is a small space, it has tons of personality. This floor, for example, was here when the homeowner moved in, but I wanted to keep it because I loved how whimsical and unique it is. I haven't seen this before, and so I thought it was a really cool treatment to have on a floor, and also really makes the best use of a smaller space, but still a lot of impact. vanities, very crisp, very clean, a white quartz countertop, but you have the mix of the rattan mirrors. So you have the warmth and the whimsy of the mirrors with these fun sconces that are brass. And typically I don't mix metals, but in this case, I think it gives a more casual vibe. It feels much more fun and relaxed. And I think it's a great solution for this space. When you walk up the stairs, you immediately notice this fun, almost animal print runner. It's still neutral, so it's very soft, but it really gives you a lot of personality just walking up the stairs. We had this space, which we thought was the perfect art wall. And so even though we didn't want to do something big and heavy here, we wanted to do a series of pieces. So we used these clear frames with the brass brackets. And as a series, it's very dramatic. However, each one is very soft color. And again, very feminine, a little modern. And then this light, maybe one of my favorite lights of all time. It's white beads, it was handmade in our size to order. And it's got almost a beach vibe, but very relaxed and very feminine. And the scale is dramatic. It's a very big light, but I think in this space, it's the star and we have a lot of drama. standing in the nursery. When we decided to do this room, it was because my clients had just purchased this home. Their home is about an hour outside of town. They found out they were having a grandson, so they immediately bought this place, and we outfitted this room for the nursery. And we really wanted the same feel as the rest of the house, nothing too themey, not too much color, but some really soft, bright pops of color. So we did neutral upholstery and a performance fabric, so it was a lot hardier. And then we used this gorgeous wallpaper. I absolutely love it. It's ivory, it's got this really pretty gold design on it. It's just whimsical enough for a nursery, but also really feels like the rest of the house. 
And then since it was a baby's room and a little boy, we thought this art would be really fun. And so this gives us little pops of color, a little bit more whimsical and childlike, and we thought this would be a really great solution for something he could grow with since it is on a shelf and it's not on the wallpaper. So we thought it could come, it could go as he gets older. And then this ottoman is the most fun print. We wanted to bring in, again, more of those pops of color. And this is great because it's got the teal and the blue. It's got a lot of variation. And that was an easy way for us to find the drapery color that we used to infuse a little bit more color. It's also linen. It has the brass hardware, but it's in this really pretty blue color. So it feels a little bit more childlike. This light is fantastic because it is a flush mount. These ceilings are very low and we couldn't do something dramatic because we had to be able to move around in here. So this was a cute way to do that and it still has that vintage feel. Obviously the crib is very simple. It's a white modern crib, but then next to that is the glider. And next to the glider is one of my favorite things. It's a little table and it was made by a company in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now all of their pieces are actually paper mache. So you get custom colors, custom pieces, and just a really special piece. I am standing in a room that we decided to call the ladies lounge, which we all need. And we thought a fun way to set the tone would be a vintage photograph. So the homeowner and I both loved this one. We thought it was a little sassy, a little fun, very feminine. And we also had this fireplace and it was actually kind of a sea green. It was a beautiful color and we thought about keeping it, but then we realized we wanted to bring in kind of our own color palette. We didn't want to be married to that and we didn't want it to feel quite as cottagey. We wanted it to be a little bit more sophisticated. So we painted it the same colors, the walls. We painted everything Greek Villa. It's a beautiful color, a creamy white. And then one of my favorite rugs I've used is this one. We had this made in a custom size for this room because it is obviously a little irregular, but it has all these like rich, beautiful pinks. It has purple. It's just a fantastic base for this room. Also, this was a little bit challenging with the space plan because of the door swing. It wasn't a huge room. So we thought if we really make the rug large, it's gonna feel really cohesive and really full. We kind of took those colors into the art. We had these made by an artist in North Carolina. Her name's Amy Haywood. She does these kind of collages on paper, very soft colors. And we thought that would be a really good way to add to her art collection with more pieces that weren't just paintings. So we added these obviously very feminine uh, figures and then a little burl side table that has kind of a vintage moment. And then this chair is swivel, but it has a cool brass base. So definitely another vintage feel. And then I just did a very classic um, ottoman in the center of the room in lieu of a coffee table. So it would feel really soft in this really pretty light blue uh, fabric. Echoed that on the sofa in the pillows. And of course, this adorable little starlight. This was great because again, the ceilings are very low. So we had to do a flush mount or a semi flush, but we still wanted to have a lot of personality. So I thought this was the perfect solution to bring in more of the brass and also a really cool shape. at the end of the hall, but it was a great space to kind of tuck away some pieces and make a home office. This desk is fantastic. It's a great grass cloth texture, which is really unusual. It has a really curvy front. So visually it's not heavy and it fits right in this little nook, but it's also interesting. Above it is a beautiful painting by Katie Madden. It has all our gorgeous pastels. It's really beautiful. We went as big as we could with the space because we did have white walls and we wanted to make the most of that. Across from us, we wanted to do a different type of art, again, to create a collection. This is a sketch by Ashley Suarez, also very feminine and very beautiful, but it gives us just one more element, one more way to add interest. 
This piece is one of my favorites. I designed this piece to sit right in this niche so she could have lots of storage because we did need the functionality of storage, but we also wanted to keep it light and interesting. This is a very light gray blue. And then I did a brass, very oversized brass hardware, but on the bottom, just to make it really feminine, again, I did a scallop detail. So all the storage you need, but with tons of personality. guest bedroom. We wanted this one to have a little bit more color. It's got a little bit darker colors. So we started with this rug. It's got a lot of pop. It's not vintage, but it was made to feel that way. And it had the perfect color palette for us. So just a little bit of a variable from the other rooms, but also the same feel. One thing I love about this house is when it was bought, my client bought it, it had white painted floors and we loved it. So we painted them again. So they're still white and it's such a fun way to start a space because these walls are white, the ceiling is white, the floors are white. So how do you create these pops of color that are really fun? In this room, especially with very few pieces of furniture, since it is small, we did bedside tables that have very strong bronze detail on them. So they have a lot of interest and a lot of drama. And then we continued that line over across the headboard with the nail head detail and onto the other bedside tables. Again, we did ivory linen drapery panels with a brass rod and then echoed that in the beaded light, the flush mount with the low ceilings. That's the perfect solution but it also has a little bit of a fancy feel we thought was really fun. And then we did these pops of blue. So very strong blue on the lamps, geometric, kind of look hand painted. So a little bit more special, a very, very oversized scale. So a little bit more drama there. And then obviously we just topped it off with a little fun blue throw. hall bathroom and as you can imagine in an older cottage the rooms are very petite this is no different but we wanted it to have lots of personality we wanted storage we wanted the practicality so we found a really cool mirror that's a very petite scale the same goes for the sconce but a lot of personality I had this custom vanity made because I wanted this retro feel, but she wanted lots of storage. So we really tried to get as much storage in here as we could. And the fun Lucite pulls just got it a little bit of personality. And then the tub was actually here. So this antique tub was here and we loved it, but it needed to be refinished. And so we thought if we're gonna refinish it anyway, let's do something unique. So we had the bottom portion of it done in this really pretty light blue. So just a little bit of personality and of course against the white painted floors it's a little more interesting and then this little rug I love throw rugs and runners that are old because they're indestructible so this little Ushak rug was perfect it had the pink it had some of the blushy tones and it really completes the space guest bathroom. It's small, but it has so many fun details. The wall mount faucets look original to the house. They're obviously not, but the beautiful wall mount and the cross handle, it's just a really cool vibe. I love that it's a double vanity, but it's all connected in this one vessel sink. And then I also did a mother of pearl mirror because I didn't want anything heavy, too weighty, and then these fun little sconces that are brass and white. And then probably my favorite thing is this vanity. This vanity we had made to be very clean and simple, but then we chose very dramatic, very fun hardware that really gives it its own personality.
much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it. I'm Julie Couch and this is The Reveal.